Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we will be checking out the speed difference and RAM management between the Motorola G84 and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So the iPhone is on the left and the Motorola is on the right. Specs wise, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is rocking the A17 Pro chip with 8GB of RAM and the Motorola G84 is working with the Snapdragon 695 chipset paired with 12GB of RAM. So let's see how both of these phones perform. To start off with, we'll power both phones off in order to clear any RAM caches. Now let's power them on and see which one boots up first. So the iPhone wins there, not surprising, with the Motorola booting up roughly 9 seconds later. So for the speed test, we have a bunch of different apps on each phone with both having the same type of app. So for example, the iPhone has the App Store and the Motorola, we have the Google Play Store. So I'm trying to like keep the apps similar there. And then I've got a mix of them from heavy app, gaming apps to obviously light apps like calculator and stuff. But let's get into this and see how they perform. So far the Snapdragon 695 is doing very well, in some cases it's loading apps a fraction of a second faster than the iPhone and in other instances the iPhone loads a bit faster but generally both are neck and neck I would say. Even here in Asphalt 9, the Motorola is only behind by like 2 to 3 seconds.
So let's check out RAM management and see how each phone handled the open apps in the background. Okay, so it looks like the iPhone had to reboot the eBay app there. That's interesting. Motorola G84 had to reload Asphalt 9 here. So both phones RAM management has been quite good, bit of a mixed bag but handled as I would have expected. Now let's have a look at how the phones handle exporting footage. So I have a 4K 60fps clip here and it's 2 minutes long with a file size of 731 megabytes. So we'll be exporting the clip at max settings, highest resolution, highest frame rate and highest code rate. So let's see how both of them handle this one. Okay, so the difference there was quite big. Uh, the iPhone exported the footage in 1 minute 58 seconds. And the Motorola took 6 minutes and 50 seconds to export. So I guess when it comes to heavy work, you can see the iPhone obviously does make a big difference there. Anyhow, thank you for watching guys. Be sure to hit the like button and if you aren't subscribed, please hit the sub button as it helps out the channel massively. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.